Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good, Good, Good afternoon, and Janet. How are you all? I'm fine, ma'am. Everybody fine? I am oh, fine, ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. That is good. I am I am great, ma'am. You are great. Yes, ma'am. So today ma in the class we will be doing the other pages. That is page number seventy-eight. So here is the screen. I hope it's visible. Ma'am, we. Yes, ma'am. The screen is visible. Ma'am, page. Which page number? Page number working 78. Working smarter. Working smarter. So we'll be doing this. Ma'am, this is about some inventions. Yes. This is all about new technologies and gadgets. We already are using a lot of gadgets in our day-to-day -day life. Right? Like right from the morning when we wake up till the night when we are and like mobile phone. We are using a lot of gadgets. Like nowadays in winter, we are using heaters, blowers, we are using what else? Ma'am, in summer we use coolers. Mixer, juicer, grinders, iron, pens. So whatever small or big thing we are using in our life nowadays is somewhat related to technologies. And no doubt these technologies and gadgets have made our life very easy. Today we are living in okay. a different life, okay. enjoying our life. It's all because of these smart gadgets. So, and the biggest example is we are able to conduct online classes. That is because of these smart gadgets and new technologies. So, if we start with the first one. First is. Membrillier. Ma'am, your voice is not clear. Voice is not clear. Ma'am, your voice is hanging. Your voice is very voice is echoing and it is not clear. It is echoing. Now is it clear? Okay. 
feathers. From the back end of the feather, they used to dip it in ink pot yes. and they used to write. After that, some more changes were there and after the feathers, they were able to dip some wooden pens and then they were able to write. They were dipping that pen on the pointed portion in the ink and then they used to write. But now, what happened? Fountain pens were invented. So Lewis E. Waterman was an American salesman and inventor who developed a fountain pen. So this was developed by Lewis E. Waterman. That was almost leak proof in 1884. Now in older days when we used to write with separate ink pots and the pen, every time we were dipping, our is dip karenge. What was the result? There were chances of your hands getting dirty. But with the help of fountain pen, that problem was solved. And also what happened? Before this invention, the tips of the pen had to be dipped in the ink again and again after writing only a few words. So it was a very time-consuming process. Harpa likne se pehle, pen ko aap ink pe dip kare and then you have to write. Waterman invented the fountain pen to make it easier for his customer to sign on the dotted lines. So it became easier and people, now what happened, the ink was stored inside the pen. Fountain pen is ink pen. So, it's under a barrel just space hoti hai, where the ink is stored and children or any other person can easily write. So once that ink is consumed, you can refill your pen with new ink. And nowadays, ink is also available in various colors like blue. Main colors are blue, black, green and red. Now, coming to the next one, GPS. What does GPS stand for? GPS global positioning system. system. Uh, nowadays, it's a very common term and we all are familiar with it. Like, if we talk about GPS, then whenever we are accessing certain apps in our mobile phones, it said that it takes permission that you have to switch on your GPS. So GPS basically to track the location of your phone or to track your current location, GPS is needed. Now what is it? It was invented by Roger Easton. The US Department of Defense began launching experimental GPS satellites since 1978. But it became fully operational in 1994. See how many years it took to get the perfect system what Roger Easton wanted. It uses satellite to pinpoint the exact position of GPS enabled device such as mobile phones or a car navigation system. So if you your GPS is on in your mobile phones, then if you are using, you must have seen that sometimes in certain apps, if you are ordering something online or maybe there are certain apps, then it automatically picks your location. If you are booking an Ola or a cab, then also it automatically picks your location. Why? Because your phone GPS is on. So GPS helps to find out the exact position of the device. Then coming to integrated circuits. Now in integrated circuits if we talk about, this integrated circuit was invented by Robert Noyes and Jack Kilbank. Now what is integrated? Integrated word means a compact one. So it is choti si jato hai, jis mein ek hi jage pe bhoat saari chiz hai. That is integrated. Now previously, the gadgets that were made, their circuits were spread like anything. It occupied a lot of area. But nowadays, or with the invention of this integrated circuit,
circuits all the things electrical things were fitted on one chip and that was known as integrated circuit and this was done by robert noyce or and jack kilbar this played a major role in making personal computers and other gadgets which are much smaller and powerful than early computers if you have read in your computer the first computer that was made the size of that computer was almost a room ek kamre ke barabar tha that was so huge and so large the reason being because there were no integrated systems or integrated circuits but nowadays we have compact pcs we have compact laptops and we have all the other gadgets and there you cannot see any wiring or some other things that are coming out reason because there is an integrated circuit fitted inside our gadgets so the today integrated chips can hold billions of electronic components in a tiny circuit circuit is what circuit is the you can say where all the electronic things are fitted together so that the electricity or electric current can flow through them because if that current is not flowing properly and circuit is not completed then the gadgets will not work so if you can see in the picture that there are small things that are placed on this green chip a green color ki plate hai jis pe chote chote cheeze pasted hai now they are the small things are all electronic components and they are fitted on this green chip or plate like structure that is known as integrated circuit and when the circuit is fitted in some electronic gadget maybe like a mixer or maybe your uh, iron or heater blower then it will start working inductions okay so these the utility of integrated circuit is that it makes the things very compact and easy to use so next one is now atm now this we all have seen and nowadays it's very common outside if any bank if you see if you approach you can find an atm machine inside the bank or maybe outside the bank then for convenience in your areas also banks are now installing different atm machines and what is the full form of atm automated teller machine it was invented by john shepherd clarin in 1967 and was installed at barclays bank of england so first it was installed in england and the purpose of this machine is that if people like uh, there are two ways you can withdraw your money from the bank one is you have to go to the bank you have to fill the slip and deposit the check and with that they will give you the cash but another way is if banks are providing you many banks are providing you with atm cards debit cards and if those cards you are using in these machines then you can withdraw your money easily and nowadays people don't want to stand in long queues queues means lambi lambi line mein nahi khada hona chahte they want to save time and for that purpose this atm machines are very useful because over here there is no lines nothing like that nowadays they are available easily available in different areas and you can approach that atm machines of your respective bank and you can withdraw the money easily through these automated teller machines next is photographic film now if we talk about photographic film that is for the camera and it was first invented by use and used by george eastman who started manufacturing paper film in 1885 his first camera which he called kodak was first offered for sale in 1884 you can see the camera in the picture now this was the first camera and it was named as kodak kodak is a company Which 
and nowadays also we are using cameras but they are there are a lot of modifications from the old one it's totally different the quality of the lens the size everything has been changed and the original model of the camera this is the first one photographic films that means there were nowadays we are not using those films like we are having different cameras with memory card in it so you can store your pictures click photographs over there and after that you can take them or transfer them on laptops or your pcs and you can get them printed but previously when the cameras came jab cameras market pe launch hue the at that time what happened there were film of black color reels were there and that reels suppose that reel is of 50 films then it will one it can only click 50 photographs so when those films were washed then the photographs were transformed into paper so that was the process reel hoti thi us reel mein suppose 10 uh, picture series hai to sirf aap 10 hi photographs click kar sakte the aur click karne ke baad jab wo reel ko aap wash karate the proper studio se jaake then only you could get your pictures you may ask your parents they tell you that how the cameras in older days were different from today right and today we prefer cameras having the memory card so that you can store your photographs and whenever you want you can get them printed right so that was the first one and which was called kodak now next is printing press in the 15th century the german inventor Charles Gutenberg invented a wooden printing press. It was the first machine that could make copies of whole pages of text. By the start of the 21st century, people could use computers to design and print documents without movable type or a printing press. You can see in the picture, this is a printing press where people used to print different papers or different texts. by 21st century the concept was bit changed and the things became computerized and computers were there to design and print documents without movable type of printing press the printing press are today also they are used wherever for printing the newspapers or maybe they are there in the printing the magazines books but for copy purpose we are not using printing press nowadays we are using computers or laptops so you can just see that how the things have changed from olden time the way we used to write that has changed then if you see the printing press that has changed so so many people have invented so many useful things around us whatever you are seeing everything is science in fact we are surrounded by gadgets and we are living with science nowadays now these are the exercises that are given in your book first one is who invented the telescope Answer is there, Galileo. Yeah. What is Carl Benz famous Bus. for inventing? Carl Benz invented the motor car with internal combustion engine. Without engines, car cannot run, and when Uh, like before the, this invention of car benz engines were outside the car but nowadays if you see there are internal combustion engines were there it was made by car benz which company designed the first fully electric sports car tesla motors t e s l a m o t o r s tesla motors 
Who designed the modern steam engine? This you all know, James Watt. Modern steam engine was invented or designed by James Watt. Which company is credited with the invention of iPod, which revolutionized the music industry? Apple. Apple. And today also we are using these like Apple iPhones are also we are using. Next is INC stands for Incorporated. This we have done in some other chapter also. INC stands for Incorporated. That means it is used, incorporation is used after the name of the company. So company Apple Incorporation. Who invented the telephone? This you all know Graham Bell, Alexander Graham Bell, that is the full form. Now, see children, in your exams, these could also be asked. Other than these quiz that is here, that means other than those six questions, the name of the inventor could be asked from these colorful boxes also. Like GPS was invented by Roger Easton. Then integrated system was done by Robert Noyes and Jack Kilby. Braid by Louis Braid. Fountain pen by Louis E. Waterman. So you need not memorize the entire thing, but at least memorize the name of the inventors. Who invented what? Same way, ATM was invented by John Shepard, photographic film by George Eastman, printing press by Jones, Jonas, Gutenberg, and of course, these exercises you have to learn. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Anything you would like to ask? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now coming to the sports vocab. This is your book exercise. It is not thick now. If we talk about these vocabs that are there, so as we are doing the matching, we will also learn about what those vocab or vocabulary stands for. Basketball dunk. That is dunk term is associated with basketball. And what does it mean? A shot that is made by jumping high in the air and pushing the ball down to the basket. Sometimes if you have observed basketball or you have yourself played it, you must have seen that there are two, three ways of throwing the ball in the basket. One is that you are standing at one place and you are just throwing the ball. Other thing is that you are jumping high in the air, up, thoda sa uchalte, you jump and then you throw. So that throwing, when you are jumping in the air and then trying to push the ball through the basket, that is known as dunk. So dunk word is associated with basketball. T. T is associated with golf. A T is normally used for first stroke of each hole. In bowl, we have already done, there is a stick, bowl stick, and on ground, there are certain poles. Uh, so, what are you supposed to do? You have to hit the ball, and your target is to get the ball in different holes. So, your first strike, first stroke, to each hole is known as T. You have to say that the ball is known as T. For every hole, there is a first stroke. So that stroke is known as T. Football, penalty kick is associated with game football. A penalty kick is awarded if a player commits 
takes a direct free kick offense inside the penalty area or of the field. See, in every game, there is a field where you have to play. That means an area where the play is around. And if outside that area you are moving and you are trying to play, then that will be taken as penalty. And even before the game, it is defined that this is the area that is meant for play and the other area that is outside, that's a penalty zone. So if you are kicking or doing anything, any shots you are doing outside that area, play area, then that or in penalty zone, it will be having some penalty. That means maybe your team will get some negative mark or that player will be removed from the game for some time. So penalty kick is related with football. So there, if in penalty area the kick is made, then that will come under penalty kick. Billiards, that is frozen ball. When the cue ball is frozen to the obtained ball, you are allowed to hit into the cue ball towards the frozen ball with a normal stroke. Now in billiards, if we talk about, then there are different balls. What happened? Ma'am, this is yes. the page This is page number 18. I am just explaining you the terms. I'll show you that page of your book also. See, in billiards, there are balls. One is cue ball. This is the white ball in the game. And object ball is the ball that is targeted by the player. These are the colorful balls. Object ball, colorful balls are there. And cue ball is the white ball. So, object ball is the target. I mean, object ball go different holes with it. With the help of cue ball. So, when the cue ball is frozen to the object ball, you are allowed to hit to the cue ball towards the frozen ball with a normal stroke. That means cue ball pehle hai and aage aapke target kya hai object ball. So when you are pointing at the cue ball and then that cue ball will go and hit the object ball, that's the frozen ball. Then cricket, this most of you must be knowing, googly, a ball that is bold in a way that makes it seems as if it will turn in one direction but it actually turns in the opposite direction. That means if you are throwing a ball, if the baller is throwing a ball and it seems, means we think that it will in this direction but it moves in the opposite direction or some other direction then that's known as Gokri. Then ace is associated with tennis and ace is a serve that successfully lands in the service box and does not touch the receiver player's racket. In tennis there are two portions, there are two portions. If I am standing in one court on one side of the court and you are standing on the other side, then there is some service box. Service box is what happens in my area. The area where I am standing, that is my service box. And where you are standing, that is your service box. So now ace means, if the player is serving, he is serving from the racket at the end of the time. And the serving that he has done, that thing, that ball or anything that is not hitting or coming to my racket but go mere racket ka pahunchne se pehle hi mere court mein aake gir gaye so that is ace so ace is serve that successfully lands in the service box it comes and falls in your service box but does not touch the receiving player's racket wo racket receiving 
फिगर जिसको आपने थ्रो किया जिसकी तरफ उसके रैकेट तक वो चीज नहीं पहुंची बट उसके कोट में आके गिर गई दैट इज नोन एज एस सो इफ नाउ यू कम टू दिस पेज नंबर 80 ऑफ योर बुक देन दीस आर द स्पोर्ट्स वोकैबुलरी सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन्ड सो फर्स्ट वन डंक इज एसोसिएटेड विद बास्केटबॉल then t is associated with golf penalty kick is associated with football frozen ball with billiards hooky is associated with cricket and ace is associated with tennis so complete this page and you have you done yes ma'am okay so now on next page that is page number 81 on page number 81 in your books if you see that is imagining the future it says imagine that you have sneak into the laboratory or the lab of the eminent scientist eminent scientist means very famous scientist renowned doctor inventor his latest invention is a time machine unknowingly you turn the time machine on and it takes you to year 2019 Now write the answers to the following questions. When you are done, share your answers with the class. What does the place where you live in look like? Write about the surroundings. What kind of plants and animals can you see around you? What kind of food do you eat? How is it prepared? What are some of the gadgets and appliances that you use? What kind of clothes do you wear? What are they made of? how our people's life at that time different from life now so now you are living in year 2022 and they are talking of year 2019 right so you have to just imagine the future because now we are used to so many gadgets you are seeing what the condition around us take into consideration the pollution gadgets and whatever life you could imagine in 2019 so now you have to imagine and you have to write that what will be the place how the place will look like in 2019 where you are living what type of animals will be there what kind of plants are there what food you are eating how is it prepared different gadgets electronic things that you are using what type of clothes you are wearing and how those clothes are made up of like today we are wearing clothes that are made up of fibers sometimes natural and sometimes artificial fibers so just imagine ki 2019 mein at that time life kaisi hogi how the life will be so imagining all those things you have to answer these five questions and tomorrow in our gk class we will be discussing these questions so that we can have knowledge about how the how your imagination is everybody will have different imaginations so then we will discuss few answers in class and then we will do this next page that is page number 81 Okay, and then after that there will be two model test papers that also will try to complete. And that is all, children, for today.
Okay, class. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for teaching us. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for teaching us. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for teaching us.